There is a bipartisan push in the roundhouse to open up primary elections to independent voters and people who decline to state a party. That's a huge block of voters who could sway the primaries. News 13's Rachel Knapp is covering the legislative session. Rachel. This bill would give nearly 300,000 New Mexicans a chance to decide who gets on their ballot. This would uh, enfranchise uh, currently disenfranchised voters for primaries who are either not affiliated or affiliated with a minor party and wish to vote in one of the major parties. Most of these elections are actually decided in the primaries. And so that allows for a very narrow focus of elected officials. And so what you're having is a, a, a further and further partisan divide of elected officials, since all they have to talk to is the radicals in both each party. Right now, New Mexico has closed primaries, meaning registered Republicans, Democrats, and Libertarians can vote in their party's primaries. House Bill 79 would open those primaries to about 22% of the state's registered voters, allowing them to vote in one of the primaries. Some state lawmakers think the bill is unnecessary, arguing, arguing those voters could register for one of the major political parties before the primary if they want to take part in it. It's already been brought out that you can change party affiliation up to 20 days prior to the election. Um, so I think that that avenue is there for anyone to go in and decide, hey, I want to vote in this primary. Political analysts say the number of people registering as independent or declined to state is growing in New Mexico. Now the bill cleared its first committee hearing on a 6-3 to three vote along party lines. Back to you. Okay, thanks, uh, Rachel. We tried to find out on how those voters affected by this bill leaned in recent elections, but the Secretary of State's office says that information is not publicly available without a formal records request, which can take weeks.